My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <laughs> Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. I bet if we looked up the word grace in a theological dictionary, we'd be surprised by the number of entries we'd find. I actually did. This dictionary of theological terms, believe it or not, has 18 entries for the word grace, from actual grace to sufficient grace. And many books, of course, have been written on the subject. But at its core, what is grace really? How would we define it? Perhaps the Latin root of the word provides the simplest explanation. It means favor, kindness. At its heart, then, grace is a gift. Any undeserved gift or help freely and lovingly given, provided us by our God. As St. Augustine once asked, what do we have that we haven't been given? And Therese Lassou, the little flower, toward the end of her short life, put it this way, everything is a grace. So if we keep our hearts and our eyes open, we're likely to recognize grace all around us. Stop with me for just a moment and consider some of the gifts for which we can be grateful this day. What graces are present in our lives. Here in the Eucharist, we celebrate the grace of Christ in a special way in this Easter season, the gift of being saved through the resurrection and the dead of Jesus Christ, the very gift of Jesus himself. In our gospel this afternoon, we hear Jesus pray for us, calling us his gift. Father, they are your gift to me. I pray that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. And without this grace, as recounted in our first reading, St. Paul wouldn't have had the courage to bear witness to Jesus in Jerusalem, let alone Rome. The Lord stood by him and said, take courage. Do you ever wonder where we get the courage, the strength, the grace to do what we do, to deal with some of the difficulties that arise in our lives. Certainly, the saint we're honoring, the Novena, leading up to her feast day this Saturday, experienced the power of God's gifts, God's help freely and lovingly given. Saint Rita knew the answer to from where she received the grace to do what she did in her life. The grace to handle what must have seemed at times like impossible and hopeless situations. The love of Christ, her love of Christ, helps St. Rita as a wife, mother, widow, religious sister. The gifts of courage, patience, perseverance, and the peace of Christ which is beyond all understanding helped Rita to carry on. And so through her intercession, May we too ask for God's assistance. 
And may we give thanks for the graces we've already received in our lives. May we share those gifts with others in our world so that the world may believe and come truly to appreciate Jesus the Christ's love for each and every one of us. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and our hearts will be renewed. And may you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit a love and desire for what is right and just and the constant enjoyment of his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of pure love, pray for us. Holy Mary, Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of all the saints, pray for us. Holy Mary, Model of life for Saint Rita, pray for us. Saint Rita, our Advocate and Protectress, pray for us. Saint Rita, beloved by the Lord, pray for us. Saint Rita, given special grace from heaven, pray for us. Saint Rita, remarkable in childhood, pray for us. Saint Rita, Model of obedience to God's will, pray for us. Saint Rita, of untiring patience, pray for us. Saint Rita, model of Christian mothers. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror for Christian spouses. Pray for us. Saint Rita, heroic in sacrifice. Pray for us. Saint Rita, generous in forgiving. Pray for us. Saint Rita, martyr in penitence. Pray for us. Saint Rita, embracing humility and poverty. Pray for us. Saint Rita, exemplary as a widow. Pray for us. Saint Rita, prompt to answer the divine call. Pray for us. Saint Rita, patient in suffering. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror of religious observance. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mystical rose of every virtue. Pray for us. Saint Rita, enamored of the passion of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Rita, pierced with a thorn. Pray for us. Saint Rita, in ecstasy before the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for us. Saint Rita, consumed with divine love. Pray for us. Saint Rita received into heaven with joy. Pray for us. Saint Rita incorrupt in your chaste body. Pray for us. Saint Rita advocate of impossible cases. Pray for us. Saint Rita persevering in prayer. Pray for us. Saint Rita help of those in need. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Save us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you have signed your servant Rita. With the marks of your love and compassion. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Rita such grace that she loved her enemies and bore in her heart and on her forehead the mark of your love and passion, grant us, we beseech you, through her merits and intercession, a love for our enemies. Through our contemplation of your sufferings and passion, may we merit the reward promised to the meek and the suffering. You live and reign forever. Amen. Glorious Saint Rita, patroness of those in need, your intercession with our Lord is most powerful. Through the favors obtained by your prayers, you have been called advocate of hopeless and even impossible cases. Saint Rita, humble and pure, patient and compassionate lover of Christ crucified. We have confidence that everyone who has recourse to you will find comfort and relief. Listen to our petitions and show your power with God in our behalf. Obtain our petitions for us if they are for the greater honor of God and for our good. We promise if our petitions are granted to make known your favor and to glorify God for his gift. Relying on your power with the merciful Savior, we ask of you.
by the singular merits of your childhood. Obtain our request for us. By your perfect union with the divine will. Obtain our request for us. By your acceptance of troubles in your married life. Obtain our request for us. By the anguish felt at the murder of your husband. Obtain our request for us. By the surrender of your children rather than have them offend God. Obtain our request for us. By your miraculous entrance into the convent. Obtain our request for us. By your daily penance and fasting. Obtain our request for us. By your courage and joy in bearing the mark of the crucified Savior. Obtain our request for us. By the divine love which consumed your life. By your devotion in receiving the Blessed Sacrament. By the happiness you felt in leaving this life for union with Christ. By the example you have given to people of every state of life. Pray for us, Saint Rita. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh.